Hey, welcome back to Solization 6 as Lautaro. So, it's time to wrap things up, because we are getting close to the end. No one can really threaten me. Russia is currently the only AI that's reasonably close to me in terms of research. But they are still quite a bit behind, I can show you. Yeah, they are getting 329 signs per turn and got 50 tags. I got 56 and 414 signs per turn. So they won't be a threat either. Not to mention we're allied, but they could try to go for science victory, for example. But they cannot beat me to it. They do have some decent units. I saw a modern armor army over there. But yeah, I will probably be making some cuts because I don't expect anything overly exciting to happen. But hey, we'll see. Hey, I won the world's fair without even trying. Look how far behind everyone else is, even Russia. Let's check diplomatic victory points out of curiosity. Okay, Canada is at 11, France is at 10, Russia at 10. That won't be a problem. I don't think I'm even going to bother building the Statue of Liberty. Because it's still out there, but there's no need. Even if someone builds it, they won't be close enough to do it. We got a great admiral, but not the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for the one that would give us two technologies for free. We might still be able to get him, we'll see about that. And there's the Earth satellite. That was very quick as well, with my production in the capital. And we can work on moon landing right away. That's seven turns. And I'm working on researching nanotechnology. I might actually build Statue of Liberty after all, but again, I don't really expect any AI to be afraid in terms of diplomatic victory. It's just that there's not much I can build right now other than maybe spam campus research grants. So I'll probably do that to speed things up. And one of the cities can work on Statue of Liberty. And here's the moon landing. Honestly, this is probably going to be a pretty short episode, because nothing noteworthy is really happening. And how's my era score now? Yeah, we will be getting a golden age pretty easily. Still got over 20 turns. Not that it matters too much, because I will be done pretty damn soon. Uh, I don't need to wait two more turns for nanotechnology, so we can get a broadcast center in two turns. Sure, why not? I also got a great engineer that gave me more housing and amenities in selected city. So I obviously selected my capital. I actually have a ton of excess food in here, partially because of my trade routes. And how high can we get the production? 247 now. So it will go to 250 plus easily. I can still get one more trade route. And I did queue up Statue of Liberty and I'm getting some fisheries around here. It doesn't really matter too much, but again, I don't really have anything better to do. So I'm building it and I'm building some other wonders as well. One over here and I'm actually building Mausoleum at Halicarnassus because nobody else built it. So I might as well do it myself, right? And there it is, 252 production. I'm not sure if this is my highest production city ever, but it has to be pretty damn close. I don't really remember having a city above 250 production before. So hey, I think I'll end up using Sanguine Pact more often. They are really nice. The vampire castles are so good. And the vampires themselves are pretty damn nice as well. Let's see if we have uranium. Not that it matters too much, but I'm curious. We do have quite a lot of land. Here's a wonder. Not that I need it, but I built it anyway. We do not actually have uranium, really. Okay. Where is uranium? Only five sources. Oh, there's one down here. Okay, I could get that one if I wanted to. So that's not too bad. Okay, there are only five sources. And two of them are near one city. 
that's pretty crazy. And Russia also has one. But I basically revealed the entire map because I did get the satellite and there are only five sources of uranium. That's actually kind of crazy. Okay. But at least we have an option. I could get this one. I might still do it and nuke someone before the game is over. I'm not sure if I'll have the time to build the Manhattan Project. I might not. Vast tomb. And there's Mausoleum Madhalikarnassus. <laughs> it's a little bit late for that one there. Turn 279. I don't think I ever built this particular wonder basically in information era. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. It's weird AI doesn't prioritize it more. It's a really nice wonder. Maybe they have a hard time fulfilling the requirements, but the requirements are not that hard. So I don't get it. Well, it doesn't really matter too much. We got it. I might still make use of it because we can still get a useful great engineer. Well, kind of useful. He can still speed up the launch of the exoplanet expedition. As long as I beat Russia to it, which I definitely should. Okay then. Oh look, Carthage flipped. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I could easily take it if I wanted to, but there's no need really. Yeah, that's actually pretty crazy. Especially with Dido. I guess this is a different continent from their current capital. Well, it sucks to be them. They will be down to one single city. There's the Mars colony. So now we just need the exoplanet expedition. So first I need to find which technology it's going to be. And we got a great admiral. Yeah, still not the one I was hoping for. So let's pass on that guy. We might still get the one that will give us two techs for free. But we shall see. Okay, let's build the Manhattan Project. I only need three turns to do it in my capital. And I might send that settler to get the uranium. Maybe. Probably just grab him in the capital. Well, I got the Manhattan Project. Now I need a settler. He's coming, right here. We'll get the uranium and I might still nuke someone before this game is over, I don't know. I think it would have to be Canada, because, well, the only other target is Dido. Sorry Canada, nothing personal. And hey, we got Carthage after all. I think I might actually refuse. Although, yeah, whatever, let's keep it. My only concern are amenities. We might want to get another water park, but certainly not in here. Definitely not. I can spend my faith. I actually have quite a lot of it saved up. Yeah, might as well just buy everything that we can buy in here. Because what else am I going to do with my faith? Not a whole lot. I can also help the city by moving Liang and getting some fisheries. So I will likely do that. We can claim one or two tiles. Yeah, to help the city out. And we can also buy a builder. And we can buy a trader as well. I do have a lot of gold. And a shipyard. Alright then. I'm actually not doing that well in terms of amenities. I'm not in the negatives, but I'm at zero at the moment, which is not amazing. And there we go, smart materials. That's actually quite early into the tree. I got quite lucky with that. With that said, we'll still need the other techs after that to speed up the actual expedition, but at least we can launch it in the next few turns. And it's not even turn 300 yet. Here at our sea washed and there's the Statue of Liberty. I actually managed to build it after all. Torch, whose flame Quite a nice location as well. Lightning. As in, visually. Looks pretty good. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. So, we are about to start the Uranium City. I'm still not quite sure if I will make use of it, but at least we'll get Uranium.
I also got an engineer who will speed up our final project and we can do that literally on the next turn. We can also get rid of this silly barbarian camp. They almost killed my unit with their ships. Okay, that's kind of brutal. But hey, at least we can get rid of it and maybe get away from them. They got two battleships and a submarine, really. And there was a fourth ship as well. That's pretty crazy. Well, anyway, let's get the city going. I'm just going to buy a builder because I can afford it. And we can fight by everything else. Again, I'm not totally sure if I will make use of it, but we got it anyway. And I brought a mortar to deal with any ships that might get close to the city. Anyway, now we can launch Exoplanet Expedition right here and boost it with the engineer. That's 1500 production towards it. And I can use him twice because I built Mausoleum at Halicarnassus. So there's that. Yeah, now I need to find the text with the boosting projects. They shouldn't be too far away, hopefully. And there it is. We launched the Exoplanet Expedition before 10300. So that's not too bad. And I secured the Golden Age long time ago. <laughs> I got way too many points for that, actually. So now I just need to wait for the text that will allow us to speed up the expedition. I'm spamming a lot of campus research grants, so we should get them pretty soon. I'm also about to get the uranium. I might still get a chance to nuke someone. We could actually nuke Russia if we want to, because they are the strongest sieve in this game other than myself. And my alliance just expired. So let's actually not get a new alliance. I can denounce them later and just declare war and nuke them a few times. Just need to do it close to the completion of the project because it might result in literally everyone declaring war on me. Not that I wouldn't be able to handle it, it's just that it would be a little bit annoying. It would be a lot of micromanagement. <laughs> There we go, we got the uranium, and now we can get the nukes. I could get Operation Ivy in four turns, so that's also an option. Yeah, let's do that, because I need to wait at least one turn anyway, you know, to actually get some uranium in my stockpile. But we can get Operation Ivy in four turns, and then get a bigger nuke, because I'm waiting for research anyway. And let's actually denounce Russia right away. They won't like me, but whatever. Nobody cares. Canada is actually doing fairly well in terms of diplomatic victory points. So it's a good thing I built Statue of Liberty. Because if they managed to build it, they would actually win the game right now. Because that was World Congress happening just now. And they got quite a few points out of that. Uh, let's maybe gain a giant death robot. Because why the heck not? Okay then. Yes, yeah, so we might want to hurry up with this. Uh, might as well upgrade that guy. And handle the barbarians. So I am still waiting for the techs. I guess we'll wait a little bit longer. About to finish Operation Ivy. And let's see how quickly we can get a big nuke. Okay, four turns, but I need to wait to get five more uranium. Yeah, I mean, let's wait then. We'll get a bigger nuke. Why the heck not? And while we wait, we can do campus research grants. Only one turn to finish campus research grants. We got 257 production now. Not bad. No one will. Okay, only three turns to build the big nuke, and it's 1000 production. There we go, and we will definitely nuke Russia. It's just that I'm going to need something to actually nuke them with. I can probably just buy a jet bomber. How much would that cost me? 
Or rather, a regular bomber, because I haven't researched stealth, apparently. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. A regular bomber is good enough. Apparently, that's the first air unit, too. Okay, <laughs> sure, why not? And I still got over 6,000 gold. 275 production in my capital. I think that's going to be the peak. I can't really get it much higher. But that's pretty good. It would be doable to get 300 plus. Definitely, I could see that happening. So, I did get a jet bomber. Not that I needed one. A regular bomber would have been enough, but I got it anyway. And in two turns, we'll finish off-world mission, then I can start spamming the projects. I actually never bothered to build more than one spaceport, which means I'll have to spam them in here. But that's okay. We can probably get like one per turn, or something like that. After 11 days... Alright, there it is. Let's see how quickly we can get it. Yeah, basically one per turn. Let's just queue them up. We can alternate, it doesn't really matter. They both do the same exact thing. And now it's just a matter of waiting a bit. So the plan is to nuke Russia right before we finish. Because I don't want, like, everyone declaring war on me. Not that I wouldn't be able to handle it, it's just too much excessive micromanagement to handle it. Alright, I'm about to win on the next turn. Let's declare war on Russia then, and we can nuke their capital or so. Uh, this can be formal war, or war of territorial expansion, <laughs> because we need more room, obviously. Despite the fact we're about to, like, leave the planet. Alright. So, let's nuke their capital, shall we? Yes, let's. Proceed. Let's go. Here, a parting gift. That's a pretty big nuke. Sorry, Russia, nothing personal. You were the most convenient target. And we beat up Canada enough already. <laughs> it was somebody else's turn, alright? I'm not bothering to move any of my units because we are literally about to win. And there it is, victory! Our so that was quite a fun game. And I'm definitely looking forward to the update that's dropping this Thursday. Not only it adds Babylon, which is a very interesting sieve, it also adds Heroes and Legends game mode, which is going to be super interesting. Really looking forward to that. I will be playing it as soon as it releases, so you can certainly look forward to that. Okay, let's check out player culture. <laughs> His culture dropped just a little bit after I nuked him. Fade, gold... Yeah, I spent quite a bit of gold towards the end. Uh, how about wonders constructed? Where is that? Right here. Russia actually built more than I did, okay. I mean, I could have built more, I just never bothered. Wars declared. Not a lot of wars in this game. Yeah. Russia only declared, like, what? Two wars or something like that? Anything else? Let's see, Yonis killed... We killed the most Yonis in this game? Okay, that's pretty funny, actually. Cities lost. Uh, how about the great people earned? Yep, I was actually in the lead. Mostly because of all the projects I was spamming towards the end of the game. Well, anyway, that's it for this game. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did to denounce the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more daily videos. And come hang out on my Discord if you're not already there. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.